Saba Yanka, a grade 4 student of my beloved school, Fair Star Academy. I am here to teach you a very simple trick to help you compare two fractions. I call it the butterfly method. Yes, butterfly method. Sit back and enjoy. Here are two examples. First, you pair one and four. Then then you multiply them. One times four is four. And two times three is six. Four represents this fraction, and six represents this fraction. Which one is bigger? Six is bigger. So six is representing the three out of four. So three out of four is bigger than one out of two. Let's try the next example. We have 5 out of 6 and 1 out of 3. Now we pair 5 and 3 and pair 1 and 6. Then multiply. 5, and five times 3 is 15 and 6 times 1 is 6. 15 is representing this fraction and 6 is representing this fraction. Which one is bigger? 15 is bigger. So 5 out of 6 is greater than 1 out of 3. I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later. Bye bye. Hi, I am Jodicella Mishu, a pupil of First Star Academy Grade 6. Today I am here to teach you simple tricks in squaring two digits in that and the side. Here are a few examples. Example 1 we have 15 squared. 15 squared simply means 15 times 15. Now to solve this question, we multiply 5 times. Which will give you 25. Now to solve this, the tens over here is 1. The second number as well, the tens is also 1. Now you look out for the next counting number, which is 2. 2 times 1, which will give us 2. Therefore, our answer is 225. I hope you understood this. Now, let's solve the second example together. 25 squared simply means 25 times 25. You multiply the last two units. Which is 5 times 5, which will give you 25. Then the first number, the tenth, is 2. The second number to the tenth is also 2. Then you look at the second, the next counted number, which is 3. 3 times 2 would give you 6. Therefore, our answer is. 620. I hope you understood this trick. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everyone. I am Irama Abinawase, a pupil from Basic 5 of First Star Academy. Today, I am going to teach you how to multiply two or more digits by 11. People say math is difficult, but for me, it's so simple. Here are some examples of the world. Our first example is 25 and 7. First of all, you split the 25, 2 and 5. To get the our middle number, you add 2 and 5, which will give you 7. So 25 times 11 is 275. And the second example. <laughs> Because it is three digit numbers, you have to get two digit numbers in the middle of one and zero. In order for you to get your middle numbers, first of all, you add eight and zero, which will give you eight. And last, 
we add 8 plus 1, which gives you 9. So, 180 times 11 gives you 1980. So, per the illustration, 25 times 11 is 275. And 180 times 11 is 1980. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this illustration. See you another time. Bye bye. Hello, friends. My name is Sister Donovan, a grade 6 pupil of First Academy. Today, I'll be teaching you how to multiply numbers using the graphical method. I know you'll be wondering what the graphical method is. So relax and enjoy it. Let's look at these two examples. We will multiply 2 by 2 by 1 digits. Since here is 2, we will make 2 strokes. And here as 1, we will make 1 stroke. Here is 5, so we will make 5 strokes. And now, we will, we will be counting the intersection. Start counting the intersection from the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here is 5. And we will count the, the other intersections, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So, 21 times 5 is equal to 105. I hope you got the first example. Let's move to the second one. We will be drawing three strokes on the left and four strokes on the right. Then three strokes here and one stroke here. Now we will be counting the intersection. So we have one, two, three, four. Yes. And you count, to find the middle number, you count the two numbers. You can't go to diagonal intersections, diagonal. So, count here. And now let's find the intersection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, we got 15. So, we will write 5 at the middle number and we will carry 1 as a ruler to the next number. Now, let's count the intersections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, the remainder, which is 10. 10. So, 34 times 31 is equal to 1, 10, 1054. I hope you understood this session. Thank you. My name is Adelina Kuhn. I'm the Vice President of Presta Academy. Today, I am here to teach you the easiest way of multiplying two sets of two digit numbers. Here are two examples. So, here we get the. So, here we start by multiplying the numbers in the first place. So, 2 times 3 is 6. And 1 times 3 is 3. We need the space here to get the middle number. So, to get the middle number, we pair the numbers which are close to each other and the numbers which are far from each other. And we sum up their product. So, first, 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So, add our product. 3 plus 6 plus 3 is 3. So our final answer is 690. I hope you love it. Let's try the next one. So here we have 34 times 60. As we did in the first one, we multiply the numbers in the first place. 3 times 2 is 6. Then 4 times 2 is 8. To get a number of numbers. If you have the numbers which are close to each other, you can see the Now we multiply. 4 times 2 is 8, and 3 times 2 is 6. So now we add the product. 6 plus 8 is 14. 4. We don't find the two numbers. We send it to the next one. That will be 6. So 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. 
So our final answer will be 740 days. Hope you enjoy it. How about that? My name is Captain Chin Sokoto. I break four people of First Star Academy. Do you know square numbers? Can you list them easily? If no, then don't worry at all because I am here to teach you how to list spread numbers easily without any difficulties. I will be using odd numbers to teach you squared numbers. Here are some odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. First, you take your first odd number, which is 1. And the first squared number is 1. Then, you will take 1 and you write it here. Then you take your next squared odd number, which is 3. Then you add it with the 1, which will give you 4. Then you write the 4 here. Then you add the 4 with the next odd number, which is 5. And that equals 9. Then you write the next, then write 9 plus the next odd number, which is 7. That equals 16. Then you write 16 here. 16 plus the next number, odd number, which is 9, equals 25. I believe you can place as many square numbers as you can. See you later. Alright. We are from the upper primary department. We are the masters. Expect many tricks from us next time. Bye-bye.